So hey guys, welcome to another video and today I'm taking a look at Guild Wars 2 again and I know I already covered Guild Wars 2 but I think it deserves another look because, well, I downloaded it, I booted it up jumped into the world on my lovely necromancer and I was like, oh yeah, I remember why I love this game I've been playing it non-stop for hours and I've, <laughs> I'm having a blast and Guild Wars 2 for me is the polar opposite of WoW in WoW I was sort of hardcore and I was all about PvE, dungeons and raids, the hardest difficulty I can do and that was it pretty much. In Guild Wars it's world v world, achievements, looking pimp and the world. Running around, doing jumping puzzles, finishing the heart quests and just finishing zones in general finding everything, exploring every little nook and cranny and essentially, well, do all the things! That's what I like to do. If you were able to go past level 80 in Guild Wars my necromancer would be like level 380. I did so much stuff. I love when I get into a zone that I have no idea what's in there. And I'm like, alright, alright, let's let's do this. Oh look, a heart quest. Let's do that. Oh, iron ore. Let's pick that up. Oh, carrots, onions. Okay, I'm gonna pick that up. Oh, a tree. I'm gonna chop that down. Oh look, there's a thing on that mountain, and it looks like I can get to that. Let's see if I can find a cave that leads up to that thing because I want to see that thing up close. All right, that kind of stuff. I love collecting things in Guild Wars because of the collection tab, and I don't know why other memos don't have this type of collection where you collect a bunch of stuff then you go into your inventory you click a button that says deposit all collectibles and it neatly organizes everything for you that is a godsend for a hoarder like me because in most MMOs I will eventually just stop collecting stuff because it's a pain in the arse to organize in your bank or you just don't have enough space not a thing with Guild Wars everything is neatly organized you can sell it or you can craft with it and it's all good love it and that's not even the best thing about Guild Wars. It's almost the best thing. Alright? I have two more things above just exploring and hoarding all the materials and doing all the stuff. One of them is the holiday events. I love the way they deal with the holiday events. Whether it's, I don't know, Easter or Halloween or Christmas. I love how expansive those events are. I remember the Halloween clock tower jumping puzzle. That was insane, that took me like hour to do because it's constantly sinking and if you sink, well you have to do it again. It was awesome. And the maze for Halloween with Headless Horsemen and all the bosses popping up. That was a lot of fun, I spent hours in that maze. And I do mean hours, like five hours in a maze, like every other day. No problemo. I would be up until like 2am just running in this maze killing bosses. Or the Christmas Battleground, the Team Fortress flavored battleground where you pick different classes, whether you're heavy or sort of a scout or a sniper, and you're running around, you're shooting snowballs at people and you're rolling around as a giant snowball and you're causing avalanches. A lot of fun. Ton of fun. Amazing, alright? So, we have those two things. We have the world, the exploring, then we have the holiday events, which I think are a lot of fun. They could get repetitive if you're just doing the events, nothing else, but everything gets repetitive if you do it enough. So that's the two things. What could be above those two things? World v World. Massive scale PvP where you have three servers battling each other over castles, towers and forts and camps. And as you get more and more points in World v World, well, that affects your server. You get bonuses, you get more bonus experience. You might get another Iron Ore when you dig up a node. It increases your success chance for critical crafting. And it's an awful lot of fun. Let's face it, I don't think there is a better way to do large-scale PvP in an MMO. Because it's you and 50 other dudes on TeamSpeak. One of them is constantly blasting annoying music. And you have commanders, you're running around, and it's never a stalemate because it's three servers. If two servers are in sort of a stalemate state, the third server will just start rampaging all over the place. And it's awesome! I love World v World. And there have been instances where I was just playing World v World and we were on TeamSpeak and we we're sieging a castle and suddenly something starts shining in my eyes. So I go to the window and I look up and I oh shit, that's the sun. It's 8 in the morning. I've been playing World v World for 10 hours and it happened more times than I would like to admit. And another thing about Guild Wars is, well, 
it's buy to play. You buy the box and then you can play indefinitely. There is a new expansion coming out soon, TM. I'm pretty excited about it, even though I haven't finished the original world yet. I plan to do it, but well, it's just too damn big and I will definitely buy it. And I'm pretty sure I'll have a lot of fun with it. So yeah, Guild Wars, it's just good value for your money, all right? You'll buy the box for a couple of bucks and you'll have a ton of fun and you don't have to pay a subscription fee. If you don't feel like playing it for a while, well, pfft, you just don't play it for a while. And I didn't even talk about PvE at all. Like there are dungeons, which are fun. You know, I would say WoW does dungeons better, or at least raids. Dungeons are wank in WoW nowadays. Then there are fractals, dungeons that get harder each time you do them, so you can hardcore all over them. I never did them, I don't know why. They sound like a lot of fun, I just never got to that. I was too busy doing all the other stuff. It's just so hard to run out of things to do in Guild Wars. Because I might finish a zone and I'm like, okay, let's do world v world. And I get stuck in there for three hours and I just keep fighting and sieging castles and defending towers and then picking up camps or scouting as a Wellomancer or a minion master. And it did just so many things. And every flaw that I ever discovered in Guild Wars just gets overshadowed. It gets murderized by all the good stuff you can do. This is just one of those games where you go in and you will find your thing and you will find a couple of things you like and you can completely ignore the rest of the game and you will have a ton of fun, you will have hours of fun. And another thing that's worth talking about is the community. Out of all the MMO games that I've ever played, all the multiplayer games that I've ever played, Guild Wars has the best community hands down. People are friendly, they're not assholes most of the time. Of course, they're assholes. There is too many people for them not to be assholes. But people are generally nice. You can ask them questions and they won't say, Your mom! Or Outland! Yeah! You know, stupid stuff like that. If you don't know something, you can ask someone and they will probably be nice enough to explain it to you. At, at least that was my experience. And I was a total noob and I was like, you know what, I'm just gonna ask people instead of googling it. So the community is really nice and the way you can play in the lower level zones is fantastic. It scales you down so it's not that much of a face roll. It's still kind of a face roll because as soon as you get somewhat better gear, which is not hard to get in Guild Wars, you have more stats than you should have for that level, so you start kind of ruffle stomping stuff, but it's still playable. So if you're thinking about Guild Wars 2 and you're not quite sure, do it. I can almost guarantee that you will have fun. Maybe you just won't like the game, but that's okay. I love it. And considering that this is the most casual MMO that I've ever played, and I used to be a hardcore raider in WoW, that's pretty impressive. <laughs> So I thank you all for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.